Done. The Adventures of Spartapus, The Moon Landings, written by Anna Clothier and illustrated by Victoria Taylor. And there's the front, there it is. And the book is, and on adventure days, my cat Pat becomes a Spartapus. You've never known when an adventure day might creep up on you. And today is our busiest yet. Today we're taking the lift to the moon. Three, two, one, blast off. And there's the space rocket going to the moon. So we start the story with, this is Pat, my cat. And there's good old Pat. On adventure days, Pat isn't called Pat at all. He's called Spartapus. And he's got a cape. And there's Spartapus with his cape. And there's the, the boy and the girl. I live with, with Pat in a flat. And Mum and Dad, of course. Some days we take the stairs to our flat. And some days we take the lift. There's a, a, a arrow showing where their uh, flat is. And there they take the stairs or they take the lift. On adventure days, the lift isn't a lift at all. It's a rocket. Sometimes the rocket takes you all the way up to the third floor. And the third floor is where they live. And sometimes it goes further than that. Sometimes it takes you all the way to the moon. There's the lift. And they think that's the rocket. And there's, there's all the numbers. And they, it can take you to the third floor. Or it can take you all the way to the moon. Today is an adventure day. Spartacus and I are going on an adventure in our rocket. We haven't got space suits, but we've got lots of tin foil, so we wear that instead. And there's them, and they're get designing their uh, space suits, and there they are in their space suits. We haven't got helmets, but we've got saucepans. So we wear those instead. And Spartacus has got his cape. And there's the... Going to put the uh, saucepans on their heads. That's not a very clever idea really, is it? But And there's Spartacus with his cape. And he's got the saucepan on his head. We climb into our rocket. Spartacus can reach the buttons. Spartacus can't reach the buttons, so I have to lift him up. Three, two, one, blast off. And there they are, coming the rocket. But the rocket really is the lift. And so he's going up to the top. Up, up we go, past the third floor where Mrs Butler lives, and whoosh into the sky. There they are, whooshing away in their rocket. There they are, up in there. We land on the moon with a thump and climb out of our rocket. An alien is waiting to meet us. He's bright green with lots of pink curly hair and four eyes as large as saucers. There he is, look at him. <laughs> Flim flam flobby wobbly, says the alien, waving his three arms in the air. Hello, I say, waving back. Meow, says Spartipus. He can't wave, so he swishes his tail about instead. There they are. There's, there's their rocket. And there's Spartacus, Spartipus and the boy. We can't understand what the alien is saying to us, but we think he likes our spacesuits. 
He keeps pointing and talking excitedly. Shooting stars soar overhead and we can see the planets too. There he is pointing to that and there's the shooting stars and there's Spartacus and the boy again. The alien points to a tiny green and blue planet in the distance. That's Earth, I tell Spartacus. That's where we come from. Spartacus Puss looks pleased. I think he might be homesick. There they are pointing to, to, and that's the Earth. And there is the boy with, with the saucepan on his head. And there's Spartacus with the cloak and these saucepan on his head. There he is. <laughs> the alien offers us sprouts and strawberry sandwiches which he has made himself. Ooh. We can't stay today, I tell him. We've got to get back for tea. I don't want to be, be rude, but the truth is that Spartacus doesn't like sprouts very much. And he looks like, oh no, I don't like sprouts. Oh no, no. We climb back into our rocket waving goodbye to the alien. He helps us count down in Moonish. Three, two, one, blast off, I shout. Bee boo bun boppity boff, shouts the alien. Higher and higher and higher we go, and whoosh into the sky. There they go, whoosh into the sky, and there, there they are looking out there, uh, out the window. The rocket flies straight back down to earth and lands outside our flat with a thump. We only just make it back in time for tea. Spartipus tells mum how pleased he is not to be eating sprouts and strawberry sandwiches. But all she hears is meow because he's only a real cat. He can't really speak any language apart from meow. There we go, and that's the end of the story. Bye then.